KSNT is your local election headquarters, and we're more than six weeks away from the midterm elections. And Republicans, they're spending millions on races here in Kansas. CNN reports the main Republican Super PAC is spending more on the state's second district race than any other House race in the country. KSNT News Capitol Bureau reporter Hannah Brandt is live at the Kansas Republican Party headquarters in central Topeka to tell us what that means. Hannah? Chase District 2 has voted Republican in the last several House elections. But with Lynn Jenkins stepping down, it really is anyone's race. That's why Republican Super PAC Congressional Leadership Fund is pouring so much money into attack ads like this one. Shady Paul Davis can't be trusted. Congressional Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. The fund has poured $1.9 million into tearing down Democrat Paul Davis. He's neck and neck with his opponent, Republican Steve Watkins. KSNT News political analyst Bob Beatty says this Republican spending shows just how tight the race is getting. I think what we're seeing now is that this could be a very, very close race. Uh, we're seeing it in polling. We're seeing it in, in both campaigns, the massive advertising, the quest uh, for endorsements by Davis. So I think uh, really the second district is going to be one of the spotlighted race in the entire, uh, races in the entire nation. Watkins is a political outsider with no previous legislative experience. Davis says that's exactly why the Super PAC is focusing its efforts on District 2. You know, the billionaires are, are worried. Uh, you know, they, they want this seat badly, but uh, they're up against a, a candidate uh, who's uh, known here in the 2nd District. I carried this district by seven points when I ran for governor. Davis calls these ads misleading and untrue. And while he's also getting funding from Democratic Super PACs, he says he won't be using it on any attack ads. Instead, he wants to focus on communicating his policy positions to voters. Uh, they're tired of the, the slimy negative ads, and uh, they want to hear people who are candidates for office tell them, you know, what are you going to do to help me? I did reach out to the Watkins campaign and the Kansas Republican Party, but both of them declined an interview. Watkins spokesman did send me a statement saying that their campaign has no control over how outside groups spend their money. Live in Central Topeka, Hannah Brandt, KSNT News. All right, Hannah, thank you. And important to note that Watkins' father also spent lots of money in political action funds during the primary. The Congressional Leadership Fund is spending the fourth most in the third district that they're spending across the country. That race between Republican incumbent Kevin Yoder and Democrat Sharice Davids.